in today's video, we're gonna be restoring the paint on this 135. The paint is honestly in terrible shape. I do believe it can be fully restored uh, with, the, with, with a little bit of touch. So let's see if we can do it. Kind of a little challenge video to myself. I've never done this before, but let's go ahead and attempt it. Give it a wash. I come back to you guys when we get back to the house because honestly, a wash, you guys have seen it a million times. So three, two, one. Now that we got the car pretty much washed up from the exterior, it does look like we need a clay bar because there's a lot of like, contaminants within the paint. So let's go ahead and get some clay bars before we actually start our paint correction. And we might have to get some steel wool for the windows as well because we're gonna be trying to do a full exterior like pretty much correction. We wanna fix everything including the windows, the paint job. Hopefully in this video, it's gonna be my first time ever. And if you guys seen the thumbnail, I won't even upload this video if it doesn't come out at least 80% better. Now that we got the car back from the car wash, you guys can see what I'm talking about on the roof. Hold on, I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, the paint's kind of getting a little bit dull around these areas. I'm hoping we can buff this out and restore it because the paint's still there. It just needs, I feel like it just needs some shine. So I'm hoping we can fix that. That'll be an ultimate transformation. Even up here in the front, I don't know if you guys can see all that kind of like haze. It really sucks. It's just on the roof primarily. The rest of the car honestly is in pretty good shape, but the front bumper just got a fresh new paint job. So the rest of the car doesn't look like as up to par. But before we actually start getting into all the polishing and all that stuff from that machine, I have a full kit, I'll show you guys what that is exactly. There's a lot of these little like dirt specks in there and I kinda just wanna clean the whole car up from this stuff. And that's pretty much what this kit's gonna do is you just pretty much spray on clay bar the entire thing until it pretty much is buttery smooth. We're gonna do this in the entire car. Once everything is buttery smooth, then we're gonna get into this machine right here, the Torque Q. This is where I got off of Amazon. I believe it was $150 for the entire kit. The reason I bought the entire kit is probably cheaper just to buy this and buy these stuff differently or you know, buy a cheaper machine or whatever. This was just Amazon's recommended, a lot of good reviews on it. I don't know much about the machines, but I heard a lot of good reviews about this one, so I went ahead and just picked this one up and I picked up the entire kit that says, this is everything you need to start polishing a car. Cause I don't know what a, you know, a medium polishing pad is, a finishing pad wax or a medium heavy to cutting so I pretty much got everything with all the all the compounds and everything so I'm gonna be watching some videos I'm gonna be kind of going off of that and then I'm gonna pretty much be showing you guys what I'm gonna be doing all in one video but yeah this is start to finish first wash the car and then now we're just gonna go ahead and clay bar it you and I we never show emotions we just keep it down so just after some clay bar, you guys can obviously see all the pretty much the, the, the mess on the hood over there. But if you guys look at the actual dirt on the hood, you don't really see anything, which is super, super, super good. Again, that's just from the spray bottle. And obviously you're supposed to be wiping it in a particular pattern. So something like this, I'll start doing that right after we actually polish it and restore the paint. But in the meantime, I'm pretty much just trying to get everything off of the hood. But yeah, guys, it's already looking a lot, lot better. If you guys literally just want some simple results for very cheap, just literally get a clay bar, clay bar your entire car, and look how good the paint looks right after a clay bar. Not to mention, it's so much smoother like a clay bar really does the trick. Without further ado, it's gonna be a full time lapse because it's gonna be a lot of work. So full time lapse me pretty much just, uh, you know, clay bar in the entire car and then uh, we'll get into all that good stuff. Guys, just 
clay bar in the entire car made it look so 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 much better i mean look at the shine already but obviously if you come in super close you guys can see it's just in very 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 terrible condition now obviously standing from over here if anyone just shows you a picture of their car like from right here like oh wow that's clean yeah it looks super good from a distance but when you guys come up close uh, there's so much imperfections. Now, as for the roof, as you guys can see, we actually have some paint fade. So this is gonna be the biggest transformation if we can actually get this thing to actually start shining. If you guys see it from the top, it is completely faded. And as for over here, completely faded. So our goal is to literally restore that. That is the main reason I actually got the kit is to fix the roof. I mean, I could have just honestly wrapped it in black, called it a day and just clay barred the rest of the car. But ultimately, this is a 135i manual with white interior and low mileage. Like it's literally a dream spec nowadays. This is a very sought out for a car. So I kind of want to make this thing perfect in the most proper way possible. Now after watching a couple of videos, I've came down to the conclusion how this stuff works. So the first things first, what I like about how their bottles are labeled, they have a V32, V34, V36, and then V38. Um, and also on the back of these packaging, there's actually the steps uh, to basically what, what a yellow pad is, an orange pad, green, white, blue, black, and red. So that's pretty much how I arrange these three uh, from like the top to the bottom. So when it comes to using your compound, uh, so you're gonna wanna use a medium heavy cutting pad and that is basically the first step to pretty much just get into the paint and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge detailer so all I know is that that's the first step you're supposed to be using. But once you actually move on to the next stage, which is the V36, this is the cutting polish. You're gonna be using the light medium polishing pad. This is only gonna make a big difference. This is gonna make the huge transformation right here and then the last one is gonna be the final polish which goes with the finishing pad and this is gonna basically seal it, make everything perfect and beautiful. Um, so uh, yeah, you really don't need that step if, if you don't want to, but you need something to seal it. So I mean, I, I honestly, you just have to go with this step and all this will come with this kit straight from Amazon. I'll link this down below for those of you guys uh, who, <laughs> who don't know anything like me and you know, you guys are learning for the first time. So you guys will literally follow this exactly step by step. 150 bucks is not bad and I can see this working for a couple cars, not just one. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and apply uh, the the extreme compound. I believe this is a two step, so you're gonna wanna use both of these. This is So this is the extreme compound and the hybrid compound um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one see if it makes a difference or maybe we're gonna have to use both of them on each panel we'll see how that works but without further ado let's go ahead and use the v32 with the medium heavy cutting pad so I went ahead and just placed some masking tape right in the middle of the car towards this way honestly I mean this is how professionals do it so I'm just gonna go ahead and try it to see if I can see the before and after the, the hood is kind of hot right now you guys want to make sure that the hood can be as cool as it could possibly be I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down one more time just to make sure all this little uh, dirt stuff comes off and then we're gonna go ahead and start with the compound. So like I said guys, you're gonna be using the orange pad uh, and then we're gonna be using the extreme compound that comes with this kit. That is the first step. I went ahead and wiped it down, looks a little bit better. So yeah, let's just go ahead and go at this and I'm just gonna hope for the best. Now let's just get to our first polish pad. So now we got the white pad and the first cutting polish. Let's go ahead and put that bad boy on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the speed from down from three down to at least, I'm probably gonna do like two on this one. Alrighty guys, so this side's done, this side is not. Um, let's go ahead and just peel the tape and see if there's a really distinguishable difference. That is my question, buddy, buddy, buddy. Hopefully this is the first time for everything, guys. I mean, so far it's looking really good, don't get me wrong, but ah uh, oh man, let's peel it. I mean, you guys can see the line. <laughs> it's there, it's definitely there. Let me go ahead and flash the flashlight. You guys saw the before. Let's go ahead and see the after. Um, 
Okay, well, I mean, I did follow the instructions. I mean, it is better, like for sure. I'm not like just saying that. It is better for sure, but maybe you have to do a couple steps. Down here, you can probably see. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It looks like I didn't even hit this bottom section at all there. Um, but maybe that was the before right there, all those scratches, and I'm not sure. Okay, this is my first, first, first try. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be honest from here again, just standing right here looks freaking a lot better, but uh, I see people actually put the light on the paint, and uh, well, I guess you guys can, yeah, I mean, you can see that, definitely. Definitely, I mean, it's less oxidized for sure. Uh, but yeah, for a first try, um, I don't really know what I did wrong exactly. Uh, maybe I have to do a little bit more force, maybe a little bit more speed. But uh, let's go ahead and finish up the rest of this hood right here, guys. And the next thing, because it turns out those bottles probably only last for about four panels. So I'm thinking I'm actually going to do the hood because it's one of the main panels. The front bumper, again, got repainted. It's a brand new front bumper. I'm going to do the, the roof because it's completely oxidized. And I'm going to do this fender and that fender. So the goal is right now is to finish up the rest of this hood. And uh, whatever we got left, I'm going to try to do the roof. And again, if we have anything left, fenders. Let's get at it. And just like that, guys, the hood is officially done. This emblem was absolutely terrible. I need to get a new emblem. Oh, my God. But anywho, other than that, this thing is looking so, so, so much better. So the next major thing, because I realize these bottles, honestly, they don't have much in them. So if you guys are going to be buying this kit and you guys want to do your entire car, just know that literally I use up about more than half on just the hood. So I don't know if that used, I did that correctly, but anywho. I have barely enough to finish the roof on this thing and I really want to do the roof as you guys know again If you look at that before it is just really 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 hazy And I'm hoping to transform this roof to at least look a lot better than that That is just really 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 bad I know doing the roof is gonna be also very hard because of the angle But again, I'm gonna try my absolute best and uh, just wish me luck guys Guys, so just with the compound, I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but just with the compound, it's already looking a ton, ton, ton better. Wipe all this down, guys, and put our first coat of polish. It's actually it's looking so much better. I have a feeling this is gonna look so much more of a difference compared to the hood, because the hood was actually in pretty good condition, but the roof was terrible. Alright guys, so you guys saw the before and I pretty much just polished it with the final polish. I'm going to just wipe all this off and show you guys the finished product. Three, two, one. And this is the after, guys. So you guys can see it's so much more glossy. Still there's a little bit of fade, but you barely can even notice now. I mean, you can notice it for sure, but I mean, it's not as crazy and noticeable as it was. It looks so much better, definitely. I do think if you go at this another try, It'll come out a lot, lot better. Again, I'm not really a professional with this. I don't know if you go at this a second time, this might end up coming a lot, lot better, but I can only assume if I go at this one more time, I feel like it'll get so much better, but just check that out, guys. The before and the after.
Let me know down below, guys, if you guys know how to actually remove all this white stuff in between all the crevices because there's so much in between all the cracks and that doesn't look fun. That does not look fun at all. So if there's like an easier way to clean all this, let me know down below, guys. Without further ado, let me go ahead and just finish up cleaning up the rest of this stuff. I'm just gonna pretty much do these two parts today. Um, and then honestly, uh, <laughs> I might actually have a friend help me do all the rest of this off camera. But the main thing, honestly, I really wanted to do was the hood. So it can look super, super, super clean with the bumper, which it is. And then obviously the roof, because that was a giant imperfection. Other than that, I mean, the rest of the car is in pretty, pretty good shape. And sheesh, this is looking a lot better, boys. Guys, I wish I showed you guys my dad's reaction. Action. He was like this looks so much better because he saw that before and he saw the after in person as well It looks so 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 much better. I'm not a professional, but it did improve So it was at least worth doing this took me roughly for a beginner It took about 45 minutes for the roof It took me about an hour hour and a half for the hood because I didn't really know what I was doing exactly But yeah guys, it is actually looking so 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 much better I'm gonna get the car out in the sun and see if there's any difference between the panels like a significant difference if there is I'm gonna have to try to do the rest of it as soon as possible because I obviously don't want it looking like there's a couple panels that are not the same colors because that'll make it look like it's been in an accident or something. That's not what we want. But yeah, also something I noticed with these windows, guys, is it has so much water stains on. I don't know if you guys can see all those water stains, uh, but yeah, we need to go ahead and get all those water stains off. Can you guys see it? I really don't know. Come on, come on. Yeah, there you go. We need to get all those water stains off, boys. So many. So yeah, before, Guys, this rear windshield looks new now. <laughs> Literally, Steel Wool does amazing work on windows, guys. Literally looks absolutely brand new now. Not even a single water stain on it. I used to think water stains are almost impossible. You have to replace the whole windshield just to get rid of that. Like, literally, I thought it was that bad. But no, just some steel wool can get all that out and that looks so, so, so much better. I also did the side mirrors and uh, the windows and the front windshield as well. Um, I just realized this trunk as well, uh, probably gonna end up doing this as well. Um, I noticed that the top panels needed the most amount of work. That's been done, that's been done. And now this one, just needs a little bit of work, but definitely gonna be starting to do it on this one probably. And you guys get the video, you guys don't wanna see me do that part. But anyhow, let's go ahead and pull the car outside. I wanna see it in the sun. I wanna see, is there a huge difference? All right, guys, now I can see <laughs> it's not perfect. I tried my best. I need somebody that actually knows what they're doing right beside me when I'm doing it. But I mean, hey, for my first try, I do see a difference, and that's all that matters. Like, at least as, as long as I see progress, it means I did something, and uh, at least this makes good use of my time. But yeah, the hood is officially fully polished out, at least to the best of my ability. And honestly, the hood came out really, really, really good coming out and seeing it with the sun. I do see a lot of imperfections and stuff like that, but I am thinking that's within the paint itself. As for the, the roof itself, the, wood, the roof is so much more shinier, but there is some imperfections within the paint and you guys can see the fade But it's not as bad. It's definitely a huge improvement and obviously the windows big improvement there So ultimately very 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 happy and how far this car has come Probably gonna have a professional help me finish up the trunk Maybe Jose um, an old friend of mine He does this stuff for a living and I'm probably gonna have him help me at least do the trunk So I can kind of see what I'm doing wrong exactly and improve for future videos and future builds But as for now, I am pretty pretty happy with this and this front lip. Oh my god, it really changes the whole car. This lip will literally be in stock hopefully soon, either tomorrow or after tomorrow. So stay tuned for that lip. I absolutely love it. It's probably the most unique thing I've ever seen on a 1M style bumper. I just love how aggressive it is. Like, look how much that pokes. Oh my God. Anywho, I've been really meaning to do that for the longest time. Also, by the way, guys, yesterday I went by the DMV. Um, this was not recorded on video. Uh, I went to another DMV when they opened up because you guys saw everything closed on me the day before. So I went to the DMV and thankfully they got me the VIN verification, which means I'm officially done I just have to send off all those papers I and mean, we hopefully can get the pink slip on the 135 this was the biggest issue with this 135 it's literally the fact that they couldn't get it to register it's a perfect car no imperfections zero lights on the dash such a great car but the only issue is is that they couldn't get it to register because it had the catalyst down pipes all those modifications to it and then also those wires were flip-flops so he couldn't get the car to pass smart so that's why he sent it off to the auction end of the day we ended up getting it registered and that is a win 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 also two little small updates we do have a water pump and thermostat coming in for this 135 I'm trying to make sure everything's hundred percent perfect it did give me a low cool light the other day and that's just kind of strange it could be because I've just put distilled water in there and one of you guys said that just distilled water will, uh, will start boiling up and literally come out of that cap 
and cause other issues. So it could be just the fact that it's distilled water, but I went ahead and just got a new water pump thermostat. We're just gonna put a new water pump, new thermostat in this car. It's probably long overdue anyways, and it's probably gonna need it. And at the same time, just do a complete coolant flush, new coolant and all that good stuff. As for my F-150, we actually took it up to take the M5 down to LA. Unfortunately, it looks like we blew a major coolant line to the turbo. That F-150 is turboed, and uh, the reason it was giving me issues towing it up is was because one of the coolant lines on the turbo to cool down the turbo went bad and it just literally messed up everything on the truck. So the truck is leaking a lot of coolant super fast. I'm gonna start ordering some parts and hopefully get that on the road because we're gonna have to pick up the M5 hopefully in a couple weeks now. They haven't started on it, they do have it there, but they're, but they're estimated to start working on it hopefully next week. So as soon as I know any information on the M5, if they get it to start or whatever, I'm gonna try to have them send us a video and they can throw it in for you guys in a video. But in the meantime, I they have not started on it. I'll keep y'all posted. Let me know down below guys, will you guys actually attempt to polish your own car? This is my first attempt. I'm pretty happy with the end of the day. I saw it perfect, but it's better. Definitely better. Better than uh, my normal work, you know what I mean? <laughs> Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.